Hey everyone, this is L Lopez 29 I have a tutorial video on how to set up a home street pass relay with no wired connection on working on Windows 7. Um, this allows you to um, uh, get street passes really easily and effectively through the Nintendo network through your own home. Um, computer. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need a router, a wireless router. Um, you also need a wireless connection with that, which comes with the, with the router. You'll need a compact wireless USB adapter, which is right here. I use um, Link, Link S. Uh, is there... No, no, what's it called? Link sys. Link sys, sorry. <laughs> Link sys, um, wireless G USB adapter. Um, this is just going to help with your wireless connection. Um, you also need a virtual Wi Fi router, and that's a program that I'll show later to download. It's free. Um, there's also the uh, Technetium Mac Address Changer, which is another program you're going to have to download um, online. Also, you're going to be needing a list of remote street pass relay MAC addresses or MAC addresses. Um, those I will show later in the video. And also, you just need your three a three DS or three DS XL, and those are all the things you need to uh, get this going. And later, I'm going to show you in the next video how to get this all set up so you can start getting street passes really easily. So, if you're interested, um, stay tuned in the next video. Hey guys. Um, I'm back um, onto my computer to show you guys what to do next for getting your street pass relay on your computer. Um, first, you have to connect to your router's wireless settings or wireless connection, which I'm doing right now. Okay, now it's connected. Now we have to go, you go to the control panel, go start, control panel, network and internet, and the network connections. Network Sharing Center. <clears throat> oh, Chains Adapter Settings. Okay. So, here you can see we have the wireless network connection. Uh, oh, it's not supposed to be shared. One way. Um, yours may not be shared. Uh, we're not going to share it just yet. So, I would. I'm going to just change it back. Yeah, you're going to have to um, change the settings later when um, I get get to that part. Um, next, you're going to um, go to Command Prop. So start. Go to type in CMD run as administrator okay now what this is going to do is you when you type in this command it's going to allow your your um, virtual Wi-Fi router program to be able to be used it's going to ena enable it so 
you type the command as I'm typing right now VLAN set hosted network mode equals allow after you type that click the um, enter and it says the hosted network has been sent to allow so now you're ready for your virtual router program when you set up a new connection under that um, so right now you it if you've already installed if you haven't already installed open your virtual Wi-Fi router program and what you're gonna do is once the uh, interface pops up it may take a little while yeah it's going to take a little bit sometimes it does take a longer time to um to start up just yeah this is not really starting up right now I'm sick all right uh, All right, I'm going to, oh, I think it just popped up. Okay, I have to, I think you have to stop the command prompt first and then open up the wire. There we go, I'm sorry. So I guess you have to close the command prompt first or else this will not show up, the screen. Um, so you're going to name your new SSID to ATT Wi-Fi. Make sure it's all lowercase. Put any password that you want. And we're going to connect share we're going to share this. Click the air down arrow. We're going to share with the wireless connection. And then press start when you have this done alright it says virtual Wi-Fi router uh, has start, started successfully so now you're going to open up the uh, tech, tech, technetium <laughs> program Uh, that was that I said you needed in the video first part now these are going to show all of your connections that you have on right now onto your computer now you want to find you want to bring up that list of the uh, the Mac um, the Mac address dresses for the street pass <clears throat> which I have alright so these are the list of the MAC addresses that you need um, depend depending on which one you want um, you're gonna want you're gonna want that but uh, we also skip this step um, you before you well you can just plug in your wireless uh, USB adapter which I'm doing right now uh, 
Um, I guess I'm going to be using the the main the main Mac for the street pass. So that's has four or five at the end. Now we're going to go back and see if our uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, once you plug in your wireless G adapter, you want to rename it to Wi-Fi. Like you see, um, after you rename it, just leave it. Don't connect it to anything yet. Um, now you want to go back to the Technitium MAC address changer version 6 and now we're going to go to you can go to action and refresh to see what's happening currently with your with your networks um, as we can see your your Wi-Fi is now on here a newly um, addressed connection now what you want to do is change the Wi-Fi street pass Mac, no, the Wi-Fi Mac to the Street Pass Mac that you want. But there is a thing to it, so we're gonna use um the four or five. If you want, um, the thing I found, if you want the Mac address to be um, a certain one, all you have to do is. I'll show you at the end the last two digits you just put it one below the actual number so I want four four five at the end so I put four double four and um, now you click change now now this is going to change your MAC address to the MAC address you just um, inputted. Now, after you've done this, now you have you you do the same thing for the WNC, the wireless network, which should be already connected to your ATT Wi-Fi connection. So, click click on that. You always click on the um, connection that you want to modify. Um, type the same address as the other one for Wi-Fi that we just created and then click change now what this is going to do is it's going to change it to this MAC address but also you can see the ATT Wi-Fi is now at a four four or five which is why I said before you should do one below the actual MAC address that you want so now after you've done that you can just refresh action refresh and um, ATT Wi-Fi I have two names for that which happens to be a 3DS hotspot so uh, 3DS hotspot on here is the same as my ATT Wi-Fi um, connection. So as you can see, it's turned into a different MAC address. So now what you want to do is you're going to um, go back to your wireless end connection and then restore original. You click on which is right down here and it gets restored back into its original MAC address and this is what you want to do anytime you want to put your uh, connection back to its original state the MAC address but still as you can see the if I refresh my ATT Wi-Fi is still the same it hasn't changed at all so after you've done this um, now you're going to go back to your virtual router 
um, program, Wi-Fi program, and you share it with the new with the new wireless connection, and you click start. Make sure that it's still ATT Wi-Fi and the password that you had before. Click start. And um, it should it should go on successfully. What? Yes, it says went on successfully. Um, now we can go back to our network settings, and we're just going to have to change a couple of things on your. See, as you, this is the same as my Wi-Fi, um, ATT Wi-Fi. I just have a different name up on the top. So, um, first, yeah, this is not supposed to be shared, so I'm going to unshare. And this this should um connect again because it's still identifying the connection. Now what we want is a, uh, yeah, yeah we want an internet connection with the, with the wireless network connection because they're both sharing the same connection. Um, so you go to, it should have internet right now. Your ATT Wi-Fi should have internet. Um, so you can go to status, right click and go to status. Right now it says no network access. Um, yeah, but I can easily change that later. So you want to go to right click it, go to properties, and then you now you want to go to the in, internet protocol four. Go to properties, and here you want to go to. Um, Fill the use the following IP address and put these numbers as I'm putting down. After you've done that, you click OK. And then close. All right. After you've done that, go to your um, wireless network connection and right-click. Go to properties. Okay. Now go to sh the sharing tab and um, click the down arrow here. Or wait, first check this allow other network users to connect through this computer's connection now click the down arrow and find your ATT Wi-Fi spot okay then click okay All right, there was something wrong with it when I tried to share share them. So, one sec. Yeah, it's probably just a problem with the virtual Wi-Fi router. Let's just let's reconnect again. So we connect under the wireless. Okay. Let's see. So now, 
it's trying to identify the ATT you know, Wi Fi. I can still check if this is being shared. Because you always have to have it being shared. All right. <clears throat> yeah, after that, yeah, I'm getting trouble. I get some problems here. But anyway, you're um go back to the um tech technetium MAC address changer and you can find you can always look back in here to see if what's going on with your Wi-Fi connections. Right now, my uh, 3DS is already, I mean, my ATT Wi-Fi connection is already up and running because if you look in the link status, it says up and operational, meaning that's working. And sometimes if it says um, up and non-operational, that means it's not working and that you probably need to try to reconnect the uh, connection to your computer. But now you're basically good for all the settings on the computer after that you um, connect to the A connect your ATT Wi-Fi connection but I can show you that you in the next video I'll show you how to connect it under your 3DS and then you should be having street pass assumed see you in the next video